Hello YouTube. So today I've got a couple projects going on. Uh, one, I'm going to start cutting in my plug wires or at least getting them laid out to which position each wire goes to on the distributor cap. And I'm also going to pull one of the fenders off, probably the driver's side today, and uh, start painting it. I am going to do a little bit of a patina look for now because that fender's not permanent and it's got a few dents in it and it's to me it's not worth uh, straightening up. And it's so cheap to buy a new one off uh, offline that, yeah, it's not worth the cost to uh, send it to a body shop. And I don't have the patience nor the knowledge to straighten it up myself. Anyway, uh, once I get that fender hung up on my cherry picker to get spray painted and uh, get the plug wires laid out on the distributor cap, uh, I'll be back at it. So I've got this fender hung. Some of y'all are going to scoff at me for painting it outside, which... I don't have a paint booth, nor do I really care. Uh, I've already got it cleaned up, sprayed a little isopropyl alcohol on it, wiped it down, getting any oils or other impurities that keep my paint from sticking. And also, there's another group of you that's going to scoff at me for painting over the rust, but I'm hoping that's going to show through the uh, layer of red that I'm going to spray over the entire fender. And then uh, on the inner fender side, for the next coat, once the red's complete, I'm going to tape off and mask everything on the inner fender and keep it red. But everything from this uh, seam right here up and on the outside is going to be a matte black color. At least until I can afford to get another set of fenders. Anyway, I'll show y'all what happens next after I get the first couple coats of paint on it. Well, I got this hunk of junk painted. I don't know what the hell was going on with my spray paint, but I don't know if you can see it in this video, but it was blowing some kind of chunks. It looks dry as hell through there. Either way, it'll be all right. Got it resealed, painted on both sides. Looks pretty good. Not bad for rattle cam work, other than that one spot right in the center above the wheel well. Anyway, I'm fixing to go in here and get my plug wires laid out and positioned. Give that a chance to bake in the sun for a little while right here before I move it in front of the truck. That way it's not on the grass when they come to cut it. And I'll show you what I've done when I, once I mess with those plug wires. Alright, so I've got my plug wires laid out in the basic locations. Uh, before I actually start cutting on them. I am going to make a bracket out of a piece of aluminum to go from this bolt hole in the head and I want to buy some uh, four-way looms similar to this but they're going to be aluminum because it's kind of a hot spot they're going to be bolting to and I want to run the plug wires a little bit tighter to the head and have a kind of a short bend right there for clearance. I'll do that on both sides and once I get those items in place uh, I'll be ready to cut the plug wires in, but I want them to be ran as tight as possible. That way they stay neat and organized. That's just a basic little setup for what I've got going on. Anyway, uh, I'm about done for the day. i got to get back to the house, take care of a few things there. Anyway, this concludes my video for the day. I uh, should have one coming out probably next weekend depending on the weather, because if it starts raining, I'm not going to be able to really do anything. Most of the work that needs to be done at this point outside. I'm going to get that uh, engine thrown in and my fenders, core support, and I might go as far as painting the hood. Same method. A little bit of rattle can with some red. And then uh, go back over the exterior parts of the panel in black and do a little sanding to let the red show through in places. Kind of that uh, weathered look. Anyway, until next time, I'm out. If uh, you haven't already, uh, subscribe to my channel. And for those of you who have been with me for a while, thank you. Bye. All right, so I know I finished the video, but this is uh, the progress I've made. Since the last time you saw it, I know y'all saw me uh, put the paint on this fender. I've also got my core support about 85% done. Yeah. Run out of paint, so I missed a few spots on that support and right here around the headlights I run out to. 
Not enough to get a tack coat on there, but not enough to cover up all the primer. Had plenty of red, so I finished up the uh, backside with very minimal masking, so I was uh, pretty impressed with how that turned out. You know, not a whole lot of black overspray in the little few places that I did get some black overspray on the red. I just shot a couple little quick squirts on that and covered it up. Anyway, I think this uh, red engine bay with the white and blue accents are gonna look really good with the engine. See, the next step is I wanna peel all this back off in a couple days, probably this weekend coming up, and I wanna paint the firewall, minus, of course, a gaping hole. And immediately following that, I'm planning on stuffing the engine in here. That way I can start uh, making the bracketry and the other pieces for the doghouse. That, and I'm probably gonna have to cut a sizable section off my dash, which is the nice shiny aluminum piece you're seeing right here. That way it clears the uh, doghouse for the engine. Hmm. Quite a bit closer. I did get a fuel line made today. I'm fixing to go uh, test fit that, make sure the length of it's correct and the routing of that and I'll get in here and we get this thing unlocked and I'll show you that in just a few minutes. All right, so let me get this fuel line installed. See how this fits. And my eyes, that looks pretty damn good. Granted, I'll um, figure out if I'm going to run it over this side, if I've got enough space, or behind it once I get the other line, for, or the uh, heater core line from here to the heater core, which I've already got the hose for it. I just don't know the exact length. And that won't be made until I get the engine installed in the truck, which hopefully that happens this weekend. Just one more little piece of the puzzle completed. So I ordered some looms from uh, O'Reilly's. Not sure exactly how much they're going to cost. It was some special order stuff. But I'll get these uh, plug wires situated a little bit better back here. And then I'll get started on cutting them in. Anyway, I know I've said uh, that this video was over. And I just kept on running my mouth, but this time it's actually over. Anyway, thanks for watching. Y'all have a good morning or good evening. And until the next video, bye.